Some of you will probably already know Thermos or Cauldron. With these versions, you could combine mods and plugins in 1.7.10 days. And today we are using Magma, which is a very new software, and it combines Forge and Papers by Git so that we can use Bigit plugins, Paper plugins, and Bucket plugins. First of all, we go to the website magmafoundation.org and scroll down to Downloads. And after that, we will just click on Latest Download and install the newest version. After the whole thing has been downloaded, we put it into a folder and create a start file. So for this, we have to create a new text document at first, and then we will rename it to start.bat. And then we will have to edit it. And we will insert the following text, java minus xmx, then 2g, the 2 stands for the RAM, for example, if you want to have 3 gigabytes of RAM, you would have to put in 3. In my case, I would just take 2. And I would recommend to not go lower than this. After this, we have to type in jar. And then the name of our jar file, I will just type in magma-server.jar. Save it and close it. And then we have to rename the server so that it matches the name we inserted in the file. So magma-server.jar. And now we can just run the start file and the server should start. After the server is completely loaded, the console closes again because we have to accept the end user license agreement at first. For this, we open this file and change the false to true. Then we save it and close it. And now we can run our server again. So in order to install the mods and plugins now, we just have to put them into their folders. For example, if we want to install the chisel mod, I would just put it in the mods folder. And for an example plugin, I will just use Essentials X. And after that, we have to restart the server and then everything should work. So when the server is online again, we can start Minecraft and go to Direct Connect. And then we type in a localhost or if you're using a root server, for example, you have to type in the IP address or domain of your root server. And then you can just click on Join Server. So, and as you can see, we are on the Minecraft server, but until now it's nothing special. So I will OP myself really quick so that I can go into creative mode. And as you can see, this isn't a normal message. So essentials work. We can also check this using slash PL and essentials is installed. And as you can see, we have a creative tab of chisels and can use it to build something. So this works too. I hope the tutorial helped you out. If so, please consider to leave a like and yeah, uh, see you next time. Bye.